Hey guys, welcome back. Backyard Hobbyist here. And this video I'm going to be reviewing the Camellus Kukri and the Camellus uh, 9 inch drop point knives. Uh, sheets are all the thicker nylon uh, with some kind of a padding in there. I'm not real sure, but this is the uh, Kukri blade that they came out with. Uh, this was, I don't know, I got this probably I think last year or the year before. Uh, and this one I've used frequently and I actually rather enjoy using it. It is in fact a uh, about a mid-duty uh, knife or machete. And <clears throat> uh, handle is actually pretty well. Very comfortable in the hand. <coughs> it is full tang. So it does help out a lot. Now I do have a lanyard on it as well. And uh, this is, oh, hold on, let me show you the nine inch drop point. This is just a little drop point I have paired with it. Uh, an idea that I had gotten from another YouTuber called Really Big Monkey. Uh, I tried to tag him uh, in the comments below, and but you guys can go and check out his page. He's got some uh, reviews on on uh, other knives as well. Uh, this is the setup I have on it. It is uh, straps with not with a uh, Velcro, and you can undo the Velcro on the back and pull it through the loop here of it of the uh, smaller knife and it has velcro at the bottom here to keep it to, to, keep, to keep it on the sheath itself and it just comes right off and you can put it on your belt whenever needed whenever you wish and it goes back on the same way it came off and it's a little wee bit difficult but uh, that way you have both knives on you, but more than one knife on you at one time. And taking up less space on your belt. Wrap it around, speed it through and wrap it around on the back side. And voila. Uh, we're going to be doing like I've normally been doing. Just an overall review. Uh, the handle on this drop point is about uh, is actually rather comfortable, and it is. Uh, I actually like using this knife frequently, along with a few others. Uh, but it is it is comfortable in the hand. It is uh, rather nice. I like it. This setup uh, in total costs I think around thirty dollars. Uh, for it to get both uh, for both knives, th th around thirty dollars for the pair. It is a little bit higher quality metal uh, setup than what they uh, what the Camellus Carnivore is, uh, and it is r rather durable. Uh, go ahead and get it set up on uh, get get you set up on testing it. Alright, so this is a, at the very, uh, it is, this is a mid-duty, uh, machete. Just go ahead and run it through here.
it uh like I said it is by far superior to the uh Camillus carnivore by far superior uh, if you can go back into my videos you'll see that review that I've done on those uh, excuse me uh, done the reviews on those uh, Camillus carnivore X and these are by far more superior these kukris are it is a lot harder metal and you're able to do a lot more with these uh, but comfortability is really, really well. Uh, there, uh, it's a toss up between this one and another knife that I use frequently whenever I go out camping and whatnot. And uh, uh, for this type of work, <clears throat> uh, but I really do enjoy it. But overall on this knife specifically, uh, uh, I would have to put it up around a nine eight or nine on a 10 scale uh, I have not like I said I've used this thing frequently and I have not had any issues edge retention is great on these uh, I I haven't sharpened it since I owned it over a year ago uh, and, and uh, that actually says a lot with some of the knives I have they are just not that well on edge retention and uh, but like I said I have not sharpened it since I've owned it and but it's and it is very comfortable I said it's around, right around eight and nine easily on my scale between comfortability of the handle how comfortable it, it feels whenever I'm chopping it is just overall a very very good knife for as cheap as it is and uh, this nine inch drop point like I was saying earlier it is really comfortable in the hand it is it is titanium bonded I don't know if you can read that on the blade yeah Camellia's titanium it is uh, this one actually uh, I use quite a bit uh, edge retention on it is not that great uh, I use it to cut up boxes and whatnot and I, I have to sharpen it out soon after I uh, get done cutting I don't know 10 or 15 boxes and tape and whatnot I mean it, it, the edge retention on these are not that great but it is comfortable it is easy to maneuver with and work with but this one is only going. I'll only put it on a. Uh, probably put it at about a five or so. Uh, on a ten scale. Now striking. Let's go ahead and try striking it with this. Striking the half inch ferro rod I have. Uh, see how well it does. It does it very, very well. I don't like how it. Uh, blackens the blade a bit but that's just the way it's going to be with these ferro rods with any knife really but it does strike it very well uh, let's see what this kukri does with that let's get this back in there let's see what this kukri does Oh yeah, quite a bit on that one as well. So, uh, like I said, this setup I like. And I use it a lot between this one and another knife. I have not reviewed yet at this point of this of this video. I have not reviewed. Uh, but it is uh, overall, I uh, it would easily be right around a nine eight and nine so like I said this is a light duty machete uh, not light duty a mid duty uh, uh, machete and what I was just using it on was uh, a couple or three year cured hedge and hedge is around in our area the hard, uh, one of the hardest woods that we have in our area especially after it's cured for some time um, 
about five years, five to six years is about max for hardness and then it starts rotting out. Uh, so that's my review on the Camillus uh, Kukri and Camillus 9 inch drop point knife. Uh, now, we'll go ahead and do a uh, the, the video verse. And this video verse is Galatians, uh, Galatians 3, 27 through 29. For those of you who are baptized into Christ have, not, uh, have been clothed with Christ. There is no Jew or Greek, slave or free, male and female, since you are all one in Christ. And if you belong in Christ, you are Abraham's seed, heirs according to the promise. And again, that is Galatians 3, 27 through 29. And I will see you in the next one.